welcome to the first lesson of product design in Photoshop. I'll start with the new document. I'll say file, say new. I'll give the name. Product design. I'll take web and sites doesn't matter right now. So let it be fine. I'll take web with any of the size and resolution is 72 because I don't want to print it out so RGB and there will be a white background I'll say OK so I'll start with mark you I'll take one more layer and drag this be slightly bigger I'll go to gradient now if you see uh, the gradient uh, generally how uh, this is the gradient so I'll, I'll make it again if you go and click the fresh gradient black and white so this bucket I will slide over here and say this gray and I want again black uh, and click over here but in this black I don't want a uh, jet black and I'll say the dark darker grey again I want this grey part again I want this this black part and this is how I want it I'll say ok I'll take a gradient and reflected gradient press shift on the keyboard so the gradient will come on the perfect linear position I'll press shift and track so this is uh, perfect but I don't want such uh, a bright over here I want a subtle uh, light shade so with this uh, I will go to again a little bit darker Say OK. Now this is fine. Press Ctrl D for deselect. I'll say Ctrl T. That is transform. You can you can click and say show transforms and say right click Ctrl T and I'll say perspective. So you can make this wider. I don't want to see this so I'll just off it now same thing we can duplicate it I'll press alt and track will make a copy of it I'll say control T and press shift and alt I'll make this small say perspective can say perspective and it's a little bit wider I press control plus for zoom we have to match this point it's fine you can just move it over here it's okay now uh, I want that uh, net to show in the mic so I'll go with elliptical mark you tool but before that we have to create the grid uh, like pattern so we'll make uh, the grid like pattern with a new document I'll say grid the width will be 3 pixel it's very small and height uh, will be 4 and say ok and I want background will be transparent because I don't want any white color in this so it will be helping to make the continuation now this is too small 
I'll just blow it up by pressing Ctrl plus. Now I take the pencil. Here is the pencil. I'll take black. Just paint it with black or uh, two uh, stripes. And press Ctrl A for select. I'll say go to edit and say define pattern. So I'll be grid one. Okay. Control D for deselect. I'll want to e uh, rotate the image. Go to image and say image rotation will be 90 degree clockwise CW. Again, I'll say Control A for selecting all the document. And go to edit, define pattern. Say grid two. So in this, I'll go with elliptical mark you tool. So if you see elliptical mark you tool will not uh, coming so perfect. Even though if you click on add, there will be a lot of problem. So click on first option and say press shift and alt on the keyboard and it will be on the perfect circle. Now you can move it. If you on this mode, you can't move this. You have to be on first option to move the selection. Now I'll take one more layer. I'll say grid. I'll press shift and backspace to fill this uh, elliptical uh, selection with the pattern. I'll press shift and backspace. The pattern is there. So now I'll take this one what which, which we have made. I'll say OK. Now this is what we want a lines straight lines. Again I'll press shift backspace again. Now I'll take the second one uh, uh, which is vertical this is horizontal. So this is horizontal. One is vertical and one is horizontal. I'll take the second one. I'll say OK. Be sure you so we have not done selection over here. I'll say Control A and say Define Pattern. Grid three. I'll again come and fill with this shift backspace. Take the last one. Say OK. This is not perfect. image image rotation again I'll take the new document for it say new width will be 4 height will be 3 I'll take pencil again and Fill this black. Say Control A. Say Define Pattern again. Because we want uh, again on the fill with vertical. is fine why this is not happening okay 
uh, I don't want this scripted pattern so just take it off uh, because uh, this was uh, my fault I have not just checked it this should be uh, made off and I'll say ok now it will be fine this is what the result I was expecting the small tick box was not checked so make sure on your side it is ticked off so now it's all perfect the grid I want it same this way was so now I'll go to filters I'll say distort and spear rise it will make a round spear and this looks very good uh, this pattern looks very realistic I'll say ok so now this is what I was expecting if you if you are not satisfied with the spear spear rise effect you can go and again say control F and make it more um, spear rise so I'm a I'm, I'm little bit okay with this now I'll take one more layer and going to gradient and this time I don't want this but anyhow we have made this uh, gradient and I want to save it I can name this REF reflection I'll say new so this will be saved you can reuse again and again I'm selecting this new one and going to click on white I don't want so white will be grayish part and go with radial and just from the center and drag over here and just go to blending modes of the layers if you go and say multiply uh, this will be on darker side I'll say reverse now say now I'll go to multiply now this gives a very good effect but I don't want such a black so I'll go and say slightly darker gray and this will be a brighter gray say track now this will be a fine this gives a very uh, nice depth to the grid and be sure uh, we have to merge these two layers say control E will make this merge and say control D for deselect so now we can place this one over here and say this all two layers I want behind this so I'll just track and release over here click uh, on this because if I move this object it will move like this I don't want so I'll just link this layers it's a chain I can link it slightly go on upward direction so now we have to match these points now I'll just go and say control T now if I press control T it gives me a whole bunch of this but I only want to affect this one so I'll release the link and say control T now it's fine so I'll say perspective slightly it will be on bigger side control T perspective slightly on bigger side so now I'll make one more layer will be on stripe on this mic I'll say press G for gradient and I can use the same uh, gradient what uh, we have made but 
in this case uh, i don't want same kind of shine because the the shine will be different from uh, the what light is falling over here and still i don't want the monotonous effect of the colors so i'll just drag this bucket i don't want and same black i can take over here i don't want this gray will be on darker side let's see fine now i'll take this linear press this one now this strip is very much suitable to the light what we have shown in the grid so to give the depth to this strip we'll go to fx and say bevel and emboss just give the more depth and i don't want so much of size will be some around 2 is fine and i don't want to use this global lights it will be on straight and gloss contour will be a uh, very hard something like this or uh, this is fine this gives an edge uh, i mean this is fine that is fine with this say okay so in next part i will do the final touch up and finishing to the mic so if you liked my lecture do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you want some kind of tutorial um, do let me know in comment box so i can make that tutorial for you so thanks for watching my tutorial meet you in second part